As the Buddha told his son, you have to make your mind like earth. People dump disgusting things in the earth, but the earth doesn't react. They pour nice things on the earth, but the earth doesn't react. And very often it's unexpected. As a meditator, you have to have your mind ready to be like earth, regardless of what happens. There's a story in the commentary that John Swat used to talk about. This is young girl. She's a stream enterer. The Buddha comes to the house one day and asks her, do you know? And she says, yes, I know. Do you know? No, I don't know. But do you know? Yes, I know. His parent, her parents got upset. Say, how do you speak to the Buddha like that and answering back and forth like that? And they didn't know what that was about. She said, well, the Buddha asked, do I know that death can come? And I said, yes, I do. Do I know when it comes? No, I don't know. But I, do you know, are you ready? Yes, I know I'm ready. And soon after that, she did die of, of an accident. So it's always ready, good to be ready all the time, because the unexpected things of the world are just that. You, they don't come with any warning. They don't come with any sign. And so you have to be prepared at all times. Barry Lopez talks about when he was up with the, the natives in Alaska that there was a quality that they had. He couldn't quite find the right English word for it. He had a lot of different native words. But it basically all came down to heedfulness all the time. Dangers can come at any time. Unexpected things can come at any time. And you want to be prepared. Not tense, but just ready. And one of the best ways to get the mind ready is to make sure that it's like Earth. Whatever comes up, you say, okay, that's not affecting the mind. There's a part of the mind that doesn't have to be affected. You want to cultivate that part, get in touch with that part. So the, world, the events of the world don't shake you up. This is one of the reasons why we meditate. We focus on the breath to have a sense of well-being inside, but also have a sense that this is where we belong. We don't have to move from this spot, and that it's wise that we not move from this spot. So when things come at you, you're ready. It's only that way that you can live in this world and not suffer.